Happy Friday morning, my friends. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to our morning mana short devotional. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe and click the join button if you want to become a member. And there are certain perks you can enjoy once you're a member. Today's devotional is entitled Prayer Claims God's Promises. Prayer claims God's promises. In the Bible, we read about Moses. He was chosen by God to rescue the Israelites from his slavery. Moses cried out in Exodus chapter 33, verse 18, and I quote, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. As you believe in Christ and walk along with him, claim his promise and you will see the glory of God. All the promises of God according to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, and I quote, Are yea, and in him, amen. As you cry out to him, he will answer you, for he is mindful of you. As Psalms 138, verse 8 declared, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. There was a story of a father who wanted his son to be well disciplined and shine in his academics. So he did all that he could to make him do well in his studies. One day, the father told his son, Son, if you score first in your class, I will get you a bicycle. This got deep down in his son's memory and he put in a lot of effort to study well. Finally, his hard work paid off and he stood first in his class. He was happy and ran to his dad and said, Daddy, I've come first in my class. Remember you promised to give me a bicycle? Come, let's go and buy one right now. But since the father had just got back from work and was exhausted, he tried to postpone going to shop. But the son would not let go of his dad. He took him to the car and they went to the bicycle shop and returned with a brand new bicycle. The son hid his dad's promise in his heart and claimed the fulfillment of it. In the same manner, you should also hide God's word in your heart and claim the fulfillment of God's promises. In the scriptures, we read about Lazarus, who was dead for four days, and Jesus brought him back to life. Irrespective of the dark and dangerous path you are trending, treading, do not lose hope. Have faith in God and like Lazarus' sister, Martha believed in Jesus and walked with him. So should you and expect to see God's glory. Just as Jesus said, and I quote, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Be encouraged today. The Bible says there is surely a future hope for you and your hope will not be cut off. When you place your trust in Him, He will work wonders for you. Our God can do anything. Nothing is impossible for Him. No matter what the world says about you, that you are a person good for nothing, don't get discouraged and always remember, God can do all things. As Matthew chapter 19, verse 26 says, and I quote, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Believe and claim the promise of God. Today, Jesus is assuring you. Believe in Jesus and you will see the glory of God. Today, He will come to your home and there will be salvation in your home. There will be blessings in your home. There will be miracles for you. Jesus is coming with you today.
Thank you so much for watching or even listening to this short devotional. I hope this message bless your heart as you proceed to your work today. See you again tomorrow. Shall we pray, Father? Thank you so much, Lord, for this opportunity that again open up for all of us. I pray, Lord, that you may help everyone out there that will see and watch this video. In whatever way, Lord, pour them out blessings that they cannot contain. I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Again, thank you so much and I will see you again tomorrow. God bless and bye-bye.